Hello there, Matthew Miller here on this coronavirus COVID-19 lockdown blog day 26 and on this one here is the 420 and that is going to be related to cannabis and that is, it ain't going to be related. Most of all mention a bit about it but <coughs> I'm probably going to find this, this might be a short video because I only actually managed to get 10 uh, 8 articles relating can to cannabis and I was trying to find some articles in the mainstream yes. about people just sitting down outside their property having a joint or something but I don't see any of that so <coughs> Well, let's get to it. And this one on the daily blog is 420 day, how to celebrate cannabis safely under lockdown. And yes, I'll be, there'll be some people having a joint on that day. And <clears throat> I hope they're smoking some joints and having a good day. But unfortunately here in New Zealand, it's still illegal to do so because we're under that prohibition and to find out that <clears throat> prohibition, prohibition doesn't always actually work it's always, it's always been proven never to work so how can this consumer stay safe with coronavirus still circulating well the good news is you can't actually really catch virus virus is actually a solvent and there's a YouTuber do talk about it as well and, and there's one on the Frank Tarano as well and there's one from, on the Crow House on BitTube as well so <coughs> yeah even Bob was too risky to pass drawings, glassware, vape pens or any other device to consume cannabis even to be too close to someone who coughed after smoking or vaping patients with compromised a new system that could limit the smoking or vaping and <coughs> yeah so it's not always a good idea to pass on those joints or so and yeah many has a legal cannabis retailers essential is nothing need a long patient of also supply of medicine and the public or fact that we're sustaining the consumers folks to unregulated markets <coughs> here you can celebrate 420 with these online events any time today especially at 420 is a good time to celebrate cameras and how far we have come and remember all those who have came before us and up to those soldiers who stand in Northern prison and all those who die waiting for the next days of America we have got close to legalization and from my point of view yes I think cameras should be actually legalized as well Prohibition just never works. Yeah, because I can <clears throat> you can actually prove that you can take it back to the alcohol prohibition as well. Back in like in the 1920s and 1930s, that's like just over 90 years ago. And that's where all the people were making moonshine, boot liquors and that though. And which Led to the crash of NASCAR racing, and I don't know why we're talking about because that's where it led to as well. And 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 people were making alcohol and getting huge profits because, yeah. <coughs> and to let them know that if you're going to prohibit something, you're actually giving the money to the worst people. And I heard in New Zealand is trying to prohibit tobacco as well and 
they're trying to do the same way what Nazi Germany had done, because they actually had done those things as well. They actually had banned smoking just before World War Two. You can look that up. It's there. <coughs> and it didn't work because just after the war, the big tobacco started smuggling in tobacco into Germany after World War Two. <laughs> So let's move on to the next one, and, and this is about the man who got busted when he about when he's hauling about five kilograms of cannabis during a routine pack, uh, traffic spot. <coughs> a 33-year-old man had been arrested after a routine traffic spot along a, 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 on the cover. Five kilograms of cannabis, police stopped a vehicle traveling on the expressways on the outskirts of Canberra about 5.15 p.m. on Tuesday, police, a police statement said while they were speaking to a driver, they noticed a strong smell of cannabis coming from the vehicle. The vehicle was searched and the police found 111 bags ounces of canvas as well as four pounds of canvas heads which is about five kilograms in total. <coughs> the man will appear in the Helmet uh, the Helmet Helmeton District Court at a later date on the drug related charge. And that's the effect of prohibition. And these things are going to continue as long as the canvas provision is still there. <coughs> and so let's just move on from here. And, and, and it's a New Zealand process with the medical canvas, uh, medical canvas program. And, <coughs> and this is the fourth training tower regional. New Zealand, if you want to find news about cannabis, this is by the site there. And, and let's go to there as well. And the medical cannabis linked to reduced pain and anxiety and improved quality of life. And yes, people should be allowed to access it for medical reasons as well as recreational as well. Prohibition just it's just it doesn't work. It probably causes more harm than good. <coughs> and it push you underground as well. So and people should be allowed to be able to have have access to as well for, for medicine as well and <coughs> Man, my voice is really not really doing so well. So, well, we're just no by now. The mother was of a uh, was a year old daughter suffer a hundred seizures a day. A day issue, please for medical cannabis. As you say, I don't want to bury my child. And that was back in 2017, and, <coughs> and she's like 100 seizures a day. It's like, boy, because cause for 24 hours, it's like 100, like 1,004, yeah, 440 minutes in a day. So she'll be like suffering for like every 15 minutes on average. Every, that is just torture. Wow. And I'm gonna, oh, here we go. Whoa. We take it hour by hour. Yeah. It's not even Good, a great. day by day and anymore. She's having a used stage. to be take a day at a time. We take a day at a time. Um, and now we just live by the hour. See you now. You know, you go to bed at night and you don't sleep. You're up thinking, waiting, just hearing, well, what's that noise? Mm. What, what's that? What, uh, it, it drains you. 
to answer the question of how long we've got. <laughs> We just don't know. So great, yeah. And Canvas helps with those sages as well. And boy, and they're playing for, uh, they're pleading for medical Canvas because they know going through those sages like every quarter, it's just it's never nice, it's never. It's absolutely horrible, man. Well, it's time to move on and there's actually no on the canvas website there and there it is there and and what is the world benefit? Well let's gonna watch that now. This is for the no, music. No, can't play the music. So I'm gonna have to pull that down. Ah, oh, stop, come on, dude. Go, me. Oh, are you going to do that to me? Really? Really? Oh, really? Are you going to do that to me? Combine these will actually make the most powerful natural medicine on earth, and yeah. Well, if you all saw coming, we really watch it. Just, just, just keep buffering it. It's just gonna slow it down. So, well, man, let's just move on from here. And and yeah, there's a lot of benefits of cannabis as well. Even him as well. Why the world needs him plastic now? And yet, because plastic is a real issue. And <clears throat> and they say no, it's just. This isn't the plastic. Plastic is an actually the problem. It's the mismanagement of the plastic is the problem. The most waste management, not probably waste here. Yeah, probably because there's ways to how to recycle carbon-based plastic. You can eat yeah, first year, yeah, because you can actually turn it back into fuel as well, and as well, yeah. Of him, you can actually make plastic and it's also biodegradable and recyclable as well. And <clears throat> same thing with gum, plastic just gotta know how and how it can be done, and that's it. And yes, landfills they are a real issue, they are really an issue. And there's probably ways of doing that, and we just we can't turn it back into fuel, we can't do so. And and him is also a way of doing it. We can make him move to him if we really want to. And but even if we do move to him, but the plastic problem will still be there because and there's ways to reduce that as well as actually start cleaning up, turn back into fuel. And well, yeah, and there's ways of doing that. And with the each has of or 500 years or more, yet. Yeah. And which takes a long time for the plastic to expire, it can take a while. And there's a way of, of dealing with it. Turning it back to the fuel, or making it into a 3D print, printer filament as well, and there we go. Well, man, and also, the bees, they, and actually the with the way and with the canvas, actually the bees actually love it. And yet a big hero trainers bees to make honey with canvas resin. Wow. A three nine year old Frenchman come to known as Nicholas Trainer Bees. He's a train earned in the nickname of the Phineas and happy to adopt the name of Prior Association of Animals and Bees 
He spent so much of his time with his insect friend that he claimed he can actually train in the way he behaves he wishes. Well, that is real skills if that's the case. That is real skills. And, and that's probably a rare skill to have. To probably to my understanding, it's probably it's very rare and probably never ever heard of it. And the fact is, the bees is just actually, <clears throat> they actually probably even love it. But I've probably never seen a bee go to it. It was a cannabis plant, but they probably will go to it. And Well, this is it going to be it for this cannabis 420 show. I know I didn't really cover much about it. and. Now I knew this was going to be quite short, but I ain't going to just sort of do one thing as well and just talk about that. Yeah, because... Yeah, and why our Prime Minister decides to extend the lockdown for five days more. Why well, I just don't get it, because cases are already on its way down. But people are going to catch more, there's going to be more diseases, oh. Just look at Sweden. See how Sweden actually handled it. And they didn't lock down and they're still doing fine and and they're not as worse as other countries as well, Sweden and I think I looked at it what how Sweden's doing in uh, Korea because as I heard about Sweden why why they didn't lock down and I just decided to look that up and take it as a grain of salt. See how they're doing, and they're probably still doing as, just as well as other countries. And <clears throat> just they adopted the herd and you in there, yeah. And they still won't adopt it. They say, oh, that's just mad and insane. And they were just, yeah, just really. People want to get on with their life and I think with this coronavirus thing, I think they're going to keep increasing the days of little foot or just find an excuse for it. They may reduce, may lower the level to level 3, but they're going to find an excuse to extend the lockdown. As you people are just going along with it, come on, wake up. And let's go with the graph there, the chart. See, look at that. For three days in a row, we are below, we're only getting less than 10 cases each day, with each day, no 10, less than 10 new cases. And it's been like three days in a row, and still increased the uh, <coughs> level four lockdown for another five more days. And they just won't let people out of the boat. Oh, and and I just play that video. Did did Cinda would say, we don't want to be in the we don't want to be in the level four lockdown a minute longer than it's needed. <laughs> and I just repeated what she said. And look at how many cases that went down in Southland. Boy, wow, that's quite a lot. Used to be like way before uh, about fifty. Wow. And around Wellington, they only like like around there. So that's like capital and the coast and the Hutt Valley. If combine that, it makes it thirty-four and thirteen. When we are down to thirty, I think we used to be about seventeen one time and. So people are recovering, but there might be still be more cases on the way, but still extending it. It's just the purpose of that is just I don't think this government that we actually have is that they're there they're there to protect us. I don't think that's the case. I think yeah, because we do have a commerce government in place here to send out doing she's actually probably acting like she's a Chinese puppet or something and all she probably is. Just going along what the Chinese says, and 
And she says she's been getting all the advice from the Chinese when it comes to the coronavirus. Yeah, because the World Health Organization is run by the Chinese. Yeah, and they got Tetris Wilson and she's part of the Chinese. Yeah, and Bill Gates is also helping the Chinese as well. And yeah, if you don't believe me, people, yeah, in Jim Ping actually write a thank you letter to Bill Gates for that. He actually did that. <laughs> the Chinese government actually write a thank you letter to Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah, he actually did that. It's actually there. And I know what Susan's been saying about, say what? Well, if you say bad, something bad about the World Health Organization, you're going against the policy. Well, I'm just going to speak my mind, Susan. I don't care what you're going to do, because I do have a backup channel. Well, <laughs> you're. <my laughs> I'd like to read it before you do take this video down. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, well, I could go rambling and rambling about why Jacinda Ardern increased it though because well she does increase it for another week or five days or even two weeks or more that may we should stand up and protest against and tell and demand the truth from our Prime Minister. Hey, why are you doing this? Our cases daily cases low. Tell the truth. Come on. This is just madness. Peoples and businesses are just going under. Peoples' livelihoods are being un undermined. And, and you don't even care about people out there. You say you do, but you pretend you do, but you don't. And yet, we, yet <laughs> even... Even we have articles that the world's yeah, it's just saying that she's the most effective leader on flat. She isn't. She tries to take away our freedom of speech here in New Zealand. Probably did so and she tried to take away the guns and people's right and you say she's an effective leader. Yeah, right. Come on people, wake up. And there's a video from David Icke, I suggest that you do watch as well. Go and watch some videos on David Icke. He does have some good intel about the coronavirus. He really does. And also Max Egan's another one as well. And yep. On the Crow House. Yeah, go and watch those. He got some good intel. And, and they're worth watching. And, well, here's all my rant <laughs> for the night as well. And. Well, I hope you all enjoy the 420, and for those who do celebrate, I hope they enjoy a good joint and and still enjoy a good day. Yeah, for us to enjoy life, though, it is have a good, high quality of life, and still how to enjoy life and do what is and do and be able to live the life to the fullest as we see fit and. To, and I do go with natural law, and, and the one natural law is do no harm, man. Because whatever you do to others will be done back onto you, and, and that's why you should do no harm, man. I mean, if you're going to eat meat, make sure animals have been raised humanely as well, and because that way the meat is good, and, and that's what I'm going to say for now. And that's Matthew Miller. Sign off, over and out.